हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्टडी आई क्यू अ बिग हेलो टू ऑल द पीपल फ्रॉम साउथ इंडिया एंड नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल ब्रिंग टू यू द बेस्ट मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द थर्ड वीक ऑफ मे प्लीज नोट दैट इन माई लास्ट वीडियो दैट इज द सेकंड मे सेकंड वीक ऑफ मे वीडियो आई हैड नॉट कवर द मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम थर्टीन एंड फोर्टीन ऑफ मे सो हैव इंक्लूडेड इन दिस वीडियो सो दिस वीडियो हैज द मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम सेवन डेज फ्रॉम थर्टीन टू नाइनटीन एंड राइट नाउ आर बेस्ट सेलिंग कोर्स इज आर बी आई ग्रेड बी ऑलमोस्ट नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट क्वेश्चन आउट ऑफ एटी क्वेश्चन इन फेज वन कम फ्रॉम माई वीडियोज ओनली एंड एस एस सी सी जी एल दीज आर द टू बेस्ट सेलिंग पेन ड्राइव इफ यू विश टू बाई एनी ऑफ आर पेन ड्राइव दैट इज द नंबर दैट यू हैव टू डायल सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट टाइम विच स्टेट इज गोइंग टू लॉन्च अ लोगो फॉर आइडेंटिफाइंग द व्हीकल्स ड्रिवन बाई पर्सन विद हियरिंग इम्पेयरमेंट एंड इट ऑफन हैपन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर ड्राइविंग अ कार द कार exactly in front of you you are continuously honking but the car in front of you is unmoved now it might be a possibility that this car is driven by a person who cannot hear properly that is his hearing is impaired so that is why these vehicles which are driven by people with hearing impairment they need to have some logo and this uh, state has done it for the first time it is telangana now let me tell you who has made this logo mr manikant has made this logo and who is mr manikant he is the first person to have a driving license in the hearing impaired category so this is a great step by telangana government and capital is hyderabad chief minister is chandrashekhar rao cs uh, chandrashekhar rao csr and he is from telangana rashtriya samiti party please also note the governor is mr narsimhan mr e s l narsimhan is the governor india recently test fired which surface to surface missile in odisha as part of a series of test of the short range quick reaction missile see this is a very very short range missile only 15 km is the range but it is very very precision missile that is if there is any enemy within the radius of 15 km he or she will get killed by the missile this missile is called spider and we have made it we have acquired it from powerful israel another thing there is another missile which we have made with the israel support which is called barak 8 so these two missiles spider and barak 8 are with the cooperation of israel israel prime minister is benjamin netanyahu and israel capital is jerusalem please note that east jerusalem is capital of palestine but only jerusalem is capital of israel and israel currency is new shekel what is the name of the invisible laser wall technology developed by cron system it's a company it's a private company cron system which is headquartered in gurugram and this has developed invisible laser wall technology which will protect or which will seal the 198 km border between uh, india and pakistan in jammu and kashmir now please note that uh, the four states of india there are four states of india which have border with pakistan so that you have to keep in mind uh, four states of india have border with pakistan and uh, the largest border of pakistan with india is rajasthan's border so uh, this invisible laser wall technology is called kavach kavach where was the 19th india italy joint commission for economic cooperation held recently italy's capital is rome and rome also has headquarter of food and agriculture organization so this in fact was in rome only italy and italian prime minister is paolo gentiloni paolo gentiloni there is another italian that you should know his name is gianni infantino gianni infantino and he is the president of fifa which is the football governing body and fifa's headquarter is in zurich and zurich is in switzerland government recently revised the base year for the wholesale wholesale price index and for iip both iip is index of industrial production the base year earlier was 2004 2005 that is financial year 2005 what is the new base year the new base year is 2011 12 and the number of items have also been increased in wpi for example the items have been increased from 676 to 697 and in iip the number of items have been increased from 620 to 809 also note that this is the seventh revision in the wpi base year wpi series this is very very important which light combat aircraft of india very very powerful aircraft recently successfully test fired a darby air to air bvr missile 
in the radar guided mode at the interim test range in Chandipur in Odisha. So which aircraft is this? This is the very very popular Tejas, LCA Tejas and uh, there, is a, there is a railway train also by the way, the name is Tejas, it is a luxury train. So keep that in mind, don't get confused between Tejas the train and Tejas the aircraft. Tejas is a luxury train also. So that's all you need to know. Odisha has a Biju Janta Dal government, BJD and chief minister is Naveen Patnayak. Which state of India recently decided to sign up for the subsidized medicine scheme called Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Aushadi Pariyojana? Under this scheme, there are Jan Aushadi store. Aushadi means medicine, Jan means people. So medicine store are open for the people where very, very subsidized price medicines are given. That is generic medicines are sold at a very, very low price for the poor. So which state recently subscribed to this scheme? It, this state is the smallest state of India with respect to area, Goa. Goa chief minister, no, it is not Lakshmikant Parsekar anymore. It is Manohar Parikar. Manohar Parikar was our defense minister, but he gave up his um, portfolio. And now he is the chief minister of Goa. So that's all you need to know. Goa governor is Mridula Sinha. If I ask you which state in India has the lowest population, then the answer is Sikkim. Goa is smallest, all right, but Sikkim has the lowest population. And Sikkim chief minister is Pawan Chemling, who recently got a very prestigious award. I'll tell you more about that later on. India has climbed up to which rank in World Bank's electricity accessibility ranking in 2017 from 99th spot in 2014. So this is something brilliant that this present government has done. If you ask me, there is one thing if this the government has done well, this is power sector. So Piyush Goyal, who is our minister for power, coal, renewable energy, uh, there, there is a lot of uh, schemes like uh, Ujala scheme and I mean, uh, even uh, Uday scheme, the Ujwal Discom Assurance Yojana. So power sector has really done very well. And this can be seen in these indexes also. So in World Bank's this index from 99th position in 2014, we have now climbed up to 26. So we have climbed 73 places. So this is this is lovely. And World Bank uh, president is Jim Yong Kim, but CEO is Kirstina Georgieva. Not easy name to pronounce. Kristina Georgieva and president is Jim Yong Kim. World Bank headquarter is in Washington DC which also has the headquarter of NASA and IMF and World Bank and IMF together they are called Bretton Woods Twins. What is the name of the ransomware which recently attacked the cyber world? So this is as easy a question as I can ask you. The name is WannaCry. Do you wanna cry? Well if ransomware attacks you, you will surely wanna cry. When was UN's International Day of Families observed with the 2017 theme Families, Education and Well-Being? So we all have had our experiences in the times of adversity only it is our families that help no one else. So the UN International Day of Families was observed on May the 15th and the theme was Families, Education and Well-Being. What is the name of the committee formed by the Uttar Pradesh government to check midday meal quality in the state run primary schools? So time and again we have seen that the midday meal quality is compromised to save money and this affects the health of the children and this particular scheme is called ma by the way uttar pradesh has a new chief minister a very animated character called yogi adityanath and uh, the governor is ram nayak who gave the oath to yogi adityanath because cm oath is given by the governor and the place where governor stays is called raj bhavan india recently skipped one belt one road or belt and road initiative summit that was held where it was held in the capital of China, Beijing. Why did India, India skip it? Because let's say this is the map of India, okay? My drawing is not very good. Something like that is India. China has a string of pearl strategy. That is, it wants to encircle India from all sides. That is the Arabian Sea, the Indian Ocean and the Bay of Bengal. This is called string of pearls. And this one belt, one road is a big part of the string of pearls. So India does not want, because China is already flexing its muscles in the South China Sea and in the Indian Ocean. So that is why India wants to counter that. India does not want to be a, uh, you know, a victim of OBOR. Another, another thing why India is boycotting. You know the CPEC, China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. It passes through POK, which is a sovereign territory of India. So it is compromising India's sovereign, sovereignty. Another reason for that. So we skipped it. Even though China pressurized us, we skipped it. So China's president is Xi Jinping. This is not 11 Jinping. Some people think it is 11. It is Xi, Xi Jinping. Okay, it is pronounced as Xi and China's uh, Prime Minister is Li Keqiang and China's currency is Yuan you can also call it Renminbi 
एंड चाइना कैपिटल इज बीजिंग एंड बीजिंग ऑल्सो हैज हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ एशियन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक ए आई बी नाउ देर इज अ बस्ट बस्ट मीन्स अ स्टैचू बस्ट इज अ फैंसी वर्ड फॉर स्टैचू सो बस्ट ऑफ आदि योगी लॉर्ड शिवा एट द ईशा योगा फाउंडेशन विद इट्स फाउंडर यो जग्गी वासुदेव योगी जग्गी वासुदेव हैज बिन डिक्लेयर द वर्ल्ड टॉलेस्ट बस्ट इन फैक्ट दिस बस्ट वॉज इनोग्रेटेड बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया नरेंद्र मोदी जी सो हाउ टॉल इज इट इट इज वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व फीट एंड एट विच प्लेस इट इज बिल्ट इट इज बिल्ट एट कोयम्बटूर प्लीज नॉट कोयम्बटूर इज इन तमिलनाडु हु हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट इंडियन ड्राइवर टू विन अ जी पी थ्री रेस एट द स्प्रिंट रेस हेल्ड इन बार्सलोना बार्सलोना इज बेस्ड इन कैटलोनिया इन स्पेन कैपिटल ऑफ स्पेन इज माड्रिड एंड हिज नेम इज अर्जुन माइनी एंड विच कार डज ही ड्राइव ही ड्राइव जंजर जंजर कार सुब्रमण्यम रामास्वामी ही पास डबे ही वॉज द फॉर्मर चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ विच स्टेट और यूनियन टेरिटरी सो ही वॉज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ पुडुचेरी इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी फोर प्लीज नॉट पुडुचेरी एंड डेली दे आर दी ओनली टू यूनियन टेरिटरीज आउट ऑफ सेवन विच हैव अ चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑल्सो एंड अ लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली ऑल्सो यूजली यूनियन टेरिटरी डू नॉट हैव सी एम और एल ए लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली बट डेली हैज अ सी एम ऑल्सो सो सी एम इज अरविंद केजरीवाल ऑफ द आम आदमी पार्टी एंड पुडुचेरी सी एम इज हू वी नारायण स्वामी ऑफ कांग्रेस एज पर अ रिपोर्ट टाइटल्ड फाइनेंशियल सिक्योरिटी फॉर इंडिया एल्डरली इंपेरेटिव बाई क्राइसिल एंड पी एफ आर डी ए so this report is given by two big organization crisil you know pfrd is your pension fund regulatory and development authority so every fifth indian is going to be 60 and above by which year see right now we are a country of the youth because maximum population is below 35 years of age but 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 there will come a time when all of this population will uh, be very old just like what china is facing today so currently in india 8.9% population is above 60 years old but by the year 2050 19.4% population will be above 60 years of age 60 or 60 plus so the answer is 2050 andhra pradesh government has signed a mou with which country's government to develop amravati amravati is the capital of andhra pradesh which has a telugu desam party government chandra babu naidu is the chief minister and they have signed mou with singapore now please note that singapore uh, capital is also singapore city singapore city What is India's rank as per the Renewable Energy Country Attractiveness Index by Ernest and Young? Renewable energy, India has taken a lot of initiatives, be it hydro power, be it uh, I mean, um, you know, nuclear power. Although nuclear power is not renewable, but uh, uh, hydro power and uh, solar power, India has taken a lot of initiatives. So, India's target is to have 175 megawatt by 2022. This much of renewable energy. So, in attractiveness, India is only second to China. first is china second is india third is united states of america these are the big 3 when it comes to renewable energy and who is our union minister for renewable energy piyush goyal which life insurance company has signed up mou or has partnered with kerala based catholic syrian bank catholic syrian bank is uh, based in thrissur headquartered at thrissur in kerala and it has signed a bank assurance arrangement what is bank assurance bank assurance means when a bank ties up with insurance company for selling its products vice versa actually insurance company ties up with the bank because insurance companies they don't have a good consumer base whereas a bank has a good consumer base and banks takes a certain commission so they have done it with the hdfc bank hdfc bank uh, hdfc life insurance has signed with catholic syrian bank so i beg your pardon hdfc life insurance has signed with catholic syrian bank and hdfc bank uh, founder or right now the managing director is aditya puri and another person you should know is rana kapoor rana kapoor is the ceo of yes bank who has been appointed as deputy executive secretary at the united nations framework convention on climate change please not united nations framework convention on climate change was a product of the 1992 earth summit if you remember there was a united nation convention to combat desertification and a convention on biological diversity also at the 1992 rio summit or earth summit so its deputy executive directory has be, is indian has taken this position that is why this question is supremely important his name is ovas sarmad and un united nation secretary general is antonio guterres of portugal which indian cricket team players became the first pair to share a 300 run stand in a one day international so these two women they had a 300 run partnership which is the highest ever in women's international their names are deepti sharma and poonam rawat so together they had a 320 run stand also not deepti sharma scored 188 runs which is the second highest score by any woman in a one day international 
Our central government has approved signing up of a MOU, Memorandum of Understanding between India and Tajikistan in the field of what? Tajikistan, the capital is Dushanbe. And we have signed uh, MOU for mutual cooperation in the field of custom matters. Another thing, people get confused between Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan and so on. It's not very difficult. Kazakhstan capital is Astana, Uzbekistan is Tashkent. Um, then we have uh, Tajikistan, which is Dushanbe. Then we have Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan, I think it is Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. And there is one more Stan in Central Asia. Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Tashkent. There is one more. Okay, so, so make sure that you uh, don't get confused between all of these. Which Indian businessman has been named on the Forbes list of global game changer? Which Indian businessman is a global game changer? In fact, last month, what he said, you know, he said, data is the new oil. So his name is Mukesh Ambani, Reliance Geo. Um, it is his pet project. And Reliance Geo is also the world's costliest startup. Which IIEST, that is Indian Institute of Engineering, Science and Technology has created India's first smart grid project that will generate power from renewable sources of energy. And this particular IIEST is the IIEST Shibpur in Havada in West Bengal. Keep that in mind. Which Indian athlete won the gold medal in the men's 400 meter race at the Indian Grand Prix athletics meet held in New Delhi? 400 meter gold medal Mohammed Anas. By the way, he also qualified for the London World Championships. Very, very important. London is the capital of England. England plus Wales plus Scotland is called Britain. And if you add Northern Ireland in Britain, it is called United Kingdom. Capital of England is London. Wales is Cardiff. And in Cardiff, we will have the final of the Champions League between Real Madrid and Juventus. And then we have um, Scotland. Capital is Edinburgh. Central government has recently approved the setting up of how many heavy water reactor to boost the nuclear power capacity. Nuclear power capacity. Uh, we want to have a capacity of 7000 megawatt that will give uh, employment to more than 33,000 people. And for that we have installed, uh, we will install 10 power plants, 10 heavy water reactor. My first question for you today. What is used as a coolant in a nuclear reactor? That is my first question for you today. And second question, what is used as a moderator in a nuclear reactor? Can you answer these questions? Coolant and moderator. As per the latest report released by the brand finance, which company has been named as India's most valuable brand? So this is, this is a no brainer. It is the Tata Group with a worth of $13.1 billion. By the way, Tata Group replaced Cyrus Mistry with whom? That is my second question for you today. Let me give you a hint. He was previously the Chairman of TCS, Tata Consultancy Service, the largest uh, IT company, information technology company in India. He was the chairman of TCS. Now he is the chairman of Tata Group. Who is he? Write down in comments. Which Indian scientist recently won the Dan David Prize for his work in the field of astronomy? This is a direct question. His name is Srinivas Kulkarni. He is a professor in the California Institute of Technology in United States of America. India recently made the first modern artillery purchase in almost 30 years because last time we bought guns they were the Bofors which was a scandal during the Congress time it was a 70 crore rupees scandal although that is another thing that these guns were used during Kargil and they were as the Kargil war but scam is a scam so second time we have bought guns and these are the very very powerful M7077 uh, M7777 770, ultra lightweight howitzer artillery gun we have bought it from BAE system we have purchased 145 guns so this is very, very unfortunate, very, very uh, simple man, uh, Anil Madhav Dhave, who, who was our environment minister, he passed away. So the question is, he held the charge of which ministry? So he's a, a, he was our environment, forest and climate change minister, Anil Madhav Dhave, minister of state for environment, forest and climate change with independent charge. And he is uh, now replaced by actually additional charges given to our science and technology minister, Dr. Harshwardhan. He will now have the additional charge of environment, forest and climate change. When do we celebrate International Museum Day? Museums are important and a person who manages a museum is called curator. So International Museum Day we celebrate on May the 18th. G7 summit is going to be held where? G7, all these uh, uh, very uh, powerful people will meet. Seven very, very powerful country. They will meet in Sicily. And Sicily is in Italy. PM is Paolo Gentiloni, as I told you. Another thing very, very important to note. Who are these seven people who will meet? So, you know G7 is represented by which countries? First is, of course, America. 
See, the most powerful group is the G7, okay? Apart from China, most of the powerful countries are there, okay? So, US is there. Uh, US, Donald Trump will attend. He is from Republican Party. His wife name is Melania Trump and daughter name is Ivanka Trump. And uh, then we have the Canada Prime Minister who is Justin Trudeau. Then we have French President, new president from the party En Marche. His name is Emmanuel Macron. He beat La Pen of the United Front. And then we have uh, Italian President Paolo Gentiloni. Then we have German Chancellor Angela Merkel, United Kingdom um, Prime Minister Theresa May who is overseeing the Brexit right now and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. These are the seven countries and these are the seven head of states who will meet. Which state recently launched a electronic textbook portal for the students? Electronic textbook so that they can be easily converted to audio files also and they can help the students. This was done by Haryana which has a BJP government. Governor is Kaptan Singh Solanki and Chief Minister is Manohar Lal Khattar. Which committee in its recently submitted report to the MOWRRD and GR has recommended what is the, what is this MOWRRD and GR? It is the Ministry of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation which is overseen by Union Minister Uma Bharti. Ganga cleaning uh, is uh, done by National Mission for Clean Ganga and program name is Namami Gange. Namami Gange. Now which committee is that which gave its recommend, which recommendation that there should be a sand registry for desilting of the Ganga. That is we need to remove sand from Ganga for that there has to be a sand registry. This particular committee is the Chitale committee. Chitale committee. India recently commenced the exercise in South China Sea called Simbex the 17 South China Sea. The very very disputed South China Sea. So with which country are we doing this exercise? We are doing it with Singapore. Singapore. It is a seven day long exercise. As per a new report by UNICEF which works for children, United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund. By the way, UNICEF headquarters is in New York, the same place we have the headquarters of UN. So UNICEF report says that the total number of refugee and migrant children in the world have increased and they have made a record in 2015-16. What is the number? Number has touched now 3 lakh and you know that there is war or civil war going on in a lot of countries like Syria, Yemen, Afghanistan and I mean so the, there are a lot of refugee children and a lot of children are dying also. Please note that UNICEF executive director is Anthony Lake. Executive director is Anthony Lake and there are two directors which they are asking in exam very very frequently. One is the director of WHO, Margaret Chan. This is a simple question. Margaret Chan is director of WHO but the more important question is Filippo Grandi. Filippo Grandi is the person who is the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNHCR. Our food minister, Ram Vilas Paswan of the Lok Jan Shakti Party from Bihar, he has directed state government to lift the stock holding limit on which food. So this is pulses and this was because there was a supply and demand mismatch. Another thing, recently there was a GM mustard that has been commercially introduced in India. GM, genetically modified mustard. Which state in Australia is planning to table a bill to give a terminally ill person over the age of 25 the right to required assi request assistance to end their life that is it is planning to youth and you know legalize euthanasia that is mercy death for anyone who is over 25 and is terminally ill it is the new south wales new south wales and australia's uh, head of state is malcolm turnbull prime minister of australia malcolm turnbull who was a, on a visit to india last month he visited akshardham temple also along with narendra modi how many nurses were given the prestigious National Florence Nightingale Award for their exceptional services? Total number was 35 and they got their award from a person no less than the President of India, Pranam Mukherjee. What is the name of the chairman of Alibaba Group who has become the richest man in China? So the richest man in China was Wang Jianlin of the Wanda Group. But now it is the chairman of Alibaba Group, Jack Ma. By the way, Alibaba Group has made significant investment in a lot of Indian companies like Snapdeal and so on. Who has become the first Bollywood actor to have his own character emoji on Twitter? So he is the very versatile Salman Khan. And by the way, there is a film of Salman Khan which is coming which is called Tube Light. Please note, Tube Light director is Kabir Khan. Kabir Khan, he is the director of the film Tube Light. World's biggest and most powerful wind turbine recently began generating electricity where? These are the wind turbine. Okay, we are talking about the wind power here. So this was installed in United Kingdom and very very tall. These uh, are 195 meter tall, the world's biggest. By the way, 
uh, which country is called the country of wind turbines it is netherland netherland is also called holland and the people who live in netherland or holland are called dutch capital of netherland is amsterdam and netherland has a place which is called haag haag has headquarter of international court of justice which gave the uh, verdict in india's favor against pakistan recently india was represented by hari salve and pakistan was represented by mr khawar qureshi so that is how you form a link okay india's first womb transplant see womb is what you call uterus transplant you know it's inside the uterus there is womb where the baby survives for 9 months so india's first womb transplant was done in which city it was done in maharashtra in pune pune was beaten black and blue by not black and blue it was a very close match but they were beaten by uh, mumbai just last night in ipl 10 border security force bsf has started operation garam hawa garam hawa means hot air along the international border with pakistan in which state see hot air itself itself should tell you which state is this it is rajasthan and they have started it in jaisalmer jaisalmer you remember jaisalmer the famous battle of longewala anyways bsf who is the head of bsf who is the director general of bsf in india it is mr ravi gandhi ravi gandhi is the dig of bsf jammu and kashmir first semi mechanized car parking was inaugurated by the chief minister mehbooba mufti so jammu and kashmir is going all digital and you know semi mechanized car park has built uh, been built and 288 cars can be parked here it has been built in the capital of jammu and kashmir shrinagar now there is a uh, there is a district of jammu and kashmir which was in news the district is in south kashmir it is called shopian can you tell me uh, why shopian was in news recently write down in comments why shopian was in news which private airline company has become the first to get a license to fly under udan uday desh ka aam nagrik in the scheduled commuter category scheduled commuter this word is very very important because this is not overall the first company to get a license to fly under udan because before this that is the turbo mega airways is the answer and it is overall the fifth company but in the scheduled commuter category it is the first so which four companies have got the permission before this it is air india then we have spice jet air odisha and air deccan these are the four companies which have got the license before this but in the scheduled commuter category this is the company turbo mega airways another thing pude desh ka aam nagrik is the scheme and first flight was to shimla from delhi another thing our civil aviation minister is ashok gajapati raju which indian origin businessman received the title ceo of the year at the prestigious plats globes metals awards in london capital of england who is he he is the chairman of liberty house group which is a steel company his name is sanjeev gupta which company has launched progressive web app pwa it is basically a lightweight mobile website uh, and this is basically to offer a app like experience on the website it is a company of bhavish agarwal can you name the company of which the ceo is bhavish agarwal he has also raised huge funding recently from softbank and other uh, companies ola softbank by the way is a japanese telecom company what is india's rank on the healthcare index in the latest report which is called global burden of disease it has been prepared by the lancet so this shows very poor healthcare system of india we are ranked out of 195 154 and uh, you know we are behind countries like sri lanka bangladesh nepal and bhutan but we are still better than pakistan and afghanistan if it means anything by the way the first country is switzerland capital is bern the second country is sweden second capital is stockholm and the third is norway capital is oslo and norway has a very good chess player also magnus carlsen who is right now the world chess champion chris cornell he passed away he was famous for what so he was a golden globe nominated singer he was not a small singer and he was a member of two bands one band is called sound garden and another band is called audio slave okay these are the two bands he was a member of so he was into music by the way my third question for you today recently a very very popular singer performed in uh, in mumbai okay his name starts with g and his surname starts with b can you name that singer there was a lot of controversy also some were saying that he just did lip syncing and he did not actually sing but he is a very very renowned singer he performed in mumbai can you write down his name in comments which company recently announced a theft of 17 million user records from its database so digital india has its own uh, shares of perils also uh, this company is zomato who has been appointed as the chief executive officer of paytm payments bank which is going to be launched on 23rd of may paytm payment bank 
the CEO of this is Renu Satti. By the way, Paytm founder is Vijay Shekhar Sharma and Vijay Shekhar Sharma is uh, also the founder of the Paytm's parent company which is called 197 Communication. Which tennis player has been banned for life and fined for match fixing? He was match fixing, he is a Japanese. Usually Japanese players are not involved in match fixing, it is mostly the Russian players and Indian players and I mean Pakistan players. But a Japanese player has been banned for life by International Tennis Federation. By the way, International Tennis Federation headquarters is in London and his name is Jun Mitsuashi. Another thing I will tell you which is very interesting, Novak Djokovic, okay, very very talented Novak Djokovic from Serbia. Do you know who is his, his next coach? Andre Agassi, that's right. So be aware of Novak Djokovic in the upcoming French Open. Mohammad Abbas, he was recently on a four day visit to India. He is the president of which country? So he is president of Palestine and the capital of Palestine is East Jerusalem. East Jerusalem. Now there was a bank which was committing a fraud. What was that fraud? Do you know? So just one sec. So um, there, uh, there was a bank which was committing a fraud. Its non-performing assets are 5% and what it was showing in the record books? 0.76%. This bank is uh, managed by a CEO called Rana Kapoor. So it is the Yes Bank. By the way, can you tell me which bank has the worst non-performing assets? It is the IDBI Bank, Industrial Development Bank of India. 15% non-performing assets. So answer is Yes Bank. And therefore RBI recently castigated Yes Bank severely. It's a... Uh, if I uh, tell in rupees, 4900 crore was its non-performing asset and it was showing only 750 crore. Where was the 15th national review meeting of the state commissioners for persons with disabilities or the differently abled, uh, not disabled exactly, inaugurated recently. This meeting was in New Delhi. And by the way, who is our minister for social justice and empowerment? It is Thavar Chand Gehlot. Who launched the dedicated website or portal called Operation Clean Money to keep a track on tax evader and facilitate honest taxpayers? And our income tax department is called CBDT, the Central Board of Direct Taxes, because income tax is a direct tax. What is a direct tax? That we pay directly to the government. What is an indirect tax? Something like a GST, which is an indirect tax. So CBDT, uh, it was, therefore it is CBDT, right? So Ministry of Finance, Arun Jetli. By the way, uh, let me ask you a question. Okay, I'll tell you. CBDT chairman is Sushil Chandar. Central Board of Direct Taxes chairman is Sushil Chandar. Arun Jetli is also our defense minister, part-time. National Green Tribunal has announced a fine of how much amount? See, if you do open defecation in Yamuna, you will uh, you will have to pay this much fine. Also, if you dump your waste in Yamuna, you will have to pay this much fine. It is 5,000 rupees only. And by the way, National Green Tribunal is a court, which uh, tribunal means any specialized court. So NGT is regarding environment and all that. And if you are not happy with NGT, you can go to Supreme Court. So NGT chairman is Justice Swatantra Kumar. In fact, since NGT has been made, Swatantra Kumar is the chairman. Another thing worth noting is that 5,000 rupees is also the fine if you um, if you overspeed your vehicle at the Kaziranga National Park which is in Assam famous for one horned rhino. So you can't uh, drive beyond a certain speed otherwise you will be fined 5,000 rupees. The President of India Pranam Mukherjee received the first copy of the book which is called Metaphysics, Morals and Politics. This book has been authored by whom? This book has been written by the famous professor Amal Kumar Mukhopadhyay. Ministry of Women and Child Development. Our union minister for that is Manika Gandhi. So this ministry has issued a code of conduct for what? They have done it for juvenile care homes. And recently one juvenile was in news, Mohammed Afroz. He was one of the pe people who, uh, was, who raped Nirbhaya, but he was a juvenile, so he was let go off. And uh, Mohammed Afroz was his name. Which state has requested the central government to draft a national policy banning fishing with LED lamp and bull trolling? This state has requested the government and center is also uh, sanctioning 7 crore rupees of amount for the same. It is the Goa. Fourth question for you today. What is the capital of Goa? Write down in comments. Mexican Javier Valdez. He recently passed away. Not passed away. He was shot dead by a bullet. So he was a famous what? He was a famous journalist. Capital of Mexico is Mexican city. Army has decided to reintroduce cordon and search operations that is called CSO as a permanent feature of its campaign where to tackle the I mean insurgency this they have done in Jammu and Kashmir and they have done it after 15 years they have done it in Shopian, in Tral, Budgam, Kulgam, Pulwana all the terror affected areas 
जम्मू कश्मीर बाय द वे हैज अ पीडीपी एंड बीजेपी कॉलिशन गवर्नमेंट महबूबा मुफ्ती इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर वेन डू वी सेलिब्रेट वर्ल्ड हाइपर टेंशन डे एंड इट वॉज ऑब्जर्व विद द टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन थीम नो योर नंबर वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ नो योर नंबर सी हाइपर टेंशन इज वेन यू हैव मोर बीपी इंक्रीज बीपी इज कॉल्ड हाइपर टेंशन एंड वन ट्वेंटी बाई एटी इज द एवरेज बीपी नॉर्मल बीपी वी से वन ट्वेंटी इज द सिस्टोल एटी इज द डायस्टोल सो यू शुड नो योर नंबर ओके सेवनटीन में इट इज ऑब्जर्व विच इंडियन ग्रैंड मास्टर रजिस्टर्ड हिज फर्स्ट विन एट द मोस्को फिडे ग्रॉ प्री प्लीज नॉट ही डिड नॉट विन मोस्को फिडे ग्रॉ प्री इट वॉज वन बाय डिंग एंड डिंग बीट बोरिस गैलफेंड इन द फाइनल बोरिस गैलफेंड वॉज बीटन बाय डिंग इन द फाइनल टू विन मोस्को फिडे ग्रॉ प्री आई एम आस्किंग विच इंडियन ग्रैंड मास्टर रजिस्टर्ड हिज फर्स्ट विन एट द मोस्को फिडे ग्रॉ प्री सो इस फोटो इज देयर पंटेला हरी कृष्णा scientists at which university have undertaken research to explore earth like planet proxima b this research is done by the very very prestigious university of exeter okay and this planet is not uh, very near it is 4.2 light years away from the earth light year is a unit of distance not time please remember that who won the mark twain prize 2017 for american humor this award was given to david letterman have you seen the david letterman show so i've been uh, watching it for years now and this uh, particular show has completed 6000 episodes in 33 years and mark twain has written a very very famous novel which was a part of uh, uh, our childhood for most of people who are, uh, who have studied english can you write the the name of that novel which is written by mark twain what is the name of indian origin student who won the national geographic b competition it is a spelling competition very tough spellings are asked so uh, the name of this person is pranay varada pranay varada in fact the third prize was also won by an indian his name is veda bhattaram which of the following airports is soon going to become 100% light emitting diode lit airport therefore it will require less electricity it is the rajiv gandhi international airport in hyderabad first edition of niti ayog meet called samavesh was recently held where samavesh was held in new delhi and uh, Uh, please note that niti ayog is the new name of planning commission niti ayog's uh, chairman is modi he is the ex officio chairman of niti ayog and niti ayog vice chairman is arvind pangaria niti ayog ceo is mr amitabh kant these are some things that you should know about niti ayog what is the name of the world's smallest satellite this satellite weighs only 64 grams no it is not a joke it is actually a satellite 64 grams and it is created created by a teenager Rifta Shark Sharuk, and for NASA, NASA is uh, America's space agency headquartered in Washington D.C. What is the name of this? In fact, uh, this teenager has named it after Abdul Kalam Ji. It is called Kalam Set. Kalam Set. Anil Dua has been appointed as Group CEO of which DTH service provider? Just mug it up. It is Dish TV. Dish TV ambassador is Sharuk Khan. United Nations has said that we will grow. our gdp for financial year 2017 earlier they were saying it is 7.7% but according to their latest projection uh, there is a report also which is called world economic situation and prospect as of mid 2017 report so un have revised un has revised its gdp projection for india right now they have reduced it from 7.7% to 7.3% and another thing is worth noting that next year that is financial year 2018 earlier they said we will grow by 7.6% but now they have increased it to 7.9% so they have decreased it for this financial year but they have increased it for next financial year that's how life is which state recently amended its state public service act to appoint its star sportsman as group 1 officer for that there was some some uh, modification needed because they wanted to appoint appoint pv sandhu as a pv sandhu as the brand ambassador or the sports ambassador of the state this has been done by the government of the andhra pradesh and uh, pv sandhu's coach is Pulela Gopichand. By the way, Pulela Gopichand's daughter is uh, making uh, the dad proud. So, um, I mean, she has also won some tournament. I can't remember the name, but uh, Pulela Gopichand's daughter has also won a tournament. She is only fifteen years old. So, chip of the old block, as they say. May sixteen is dedicated to which disease by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So, and our health minister is J P Nadda. So, May sixteen is for dengue. Now, let me tell you uh, a thing about dengue. uh may 16 we celebrate it as national dengue day dengue is a spread by a virus but this virus is carried by a mosquito and that mosquito is called aedes aegypti okay it's a very small white colored mosquito almost invisible to the eyes indian navy has signed a pact with which organization under isro this organization is under isro okay 
and why they are doing it for data sharing and cooperation in the field of meteorology and oceanology meteorology is regarding climate and oceanology is related to oceans and oceanology and maritime cooperation basically so this is the space application center of ahmedabad the old name of ahmedabad was karnavati devajani ghosh has been appointed as the independent director in which bank this bank is the access bank access oh, sorry sorry yes bank yes bank see yes bank is the same bank which was reporting uh, its non performing assets under reporting and yes bank ceo is rana kapoor and devajani ghosh is the independent director of yes bank headquartered in mumbai organization of islamic cooperation oic recently opened its headquarters for its independent permanent human rights commission which will look after the human rights so this they have set up where the headquarters for human rights commission of oic this will be in saudi arabia where in saudi arabia at a place called jeddah and saudi arabia's capital is riyadh union cabinet recently approved an expanded preferential trade agreement for with which country for mutual cooperation in the field of trade for more free and fair trade this has been done with chile capital of chile is santiago and cap and currency is peso which state has made its regional language mandatory or compulsory in all the schools this has been done by the west bengal government bengali has been made mandatory in all the schools and west bengal government is mamta banerji trinamool congress so keep that in mind if they ask who is the governor of west bengal it is केसरी नाथ त्रिपाठी केसरी नाथ त्रिपाठी इज द गवर्नर ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल राम मोहन राव पास अवे रिसेंटली ही वॉज इंडिया फॉर्मर वट ही वॉज ऑल्सो अ मीडिया एडवाइजर टू नॉट वन नॉट टू नॉट थ्री बट फोर प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ इंडिया एक्स प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ इंडिया सो ही वॉज द प्रिंसिपल इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑफिसर पी आई ओ हू वन द मैन सिंगल टाइटल मड्रेड ओपन ही वन इट फॉर द फिफ्थ टाइम बाय द वे एंड ही हेज ऑल्सो वन नाइन फ्रेंच ओपन एंड ओवरऑल फोर्टीन ग्रैंड स्लैम्स हिज नेम इज द ग्रेट रफाइल नडाल ऑफ स्पेन which airport has become the world's busiest airport you know this airport has one flight every 65 seconds busiest airport in the world is the mumbai airport and second busiest is the gatwick airport now let me give you some figures from mumbai airport every day we have 837 flights and from gatwick airport in london we have 757 flights and our civil aviation minister is ashok gajapati raju who was given this award which is the first bhairav singh shekhawat lifetime achievement award in public service by president pranab mukherji his name is pavan kumar chamling he is the chief minister of sikkim which is the first organic state of india sikkim is also the state of india with the lowest population capital is gangtok and bhairav singh shekhawat was a close friend of atal bihari vajpayee and ex chief minister of rajasthan where was the second meeting of national platform for disaster risk reduction recently held it was organized by ndma national disaster management authority so this meeting was in new delhi see the answer to most of these meetings will be new delhi when was united nation world telecommunication and information society day observed and the theme was big data with big impact because analytics is a part and parcel of the uh, various processing these days so it was observed on may the 17 how many medals india won at the china world para world athletics grand prix that was recently held in beijing india won total of two medals one gold medal one bronze medal bronze medal was won by hokato sema in short put and gold medal was won by ramudri someshwara rao in 200 meter sprint race who was ranked the highest among the 11 indian origin individuals that appeared in the midas 2017 forbes annual list of the 100 best venture capitalists in the technology sphere this particular person was overall 17 but in indians he was number 1 his name is neeraj agarwal and overall the first person was jim goats urban development minister venkaiya naidu recently inaugurated 7 km stretch of which city's metro rail project by the way do you know all the places where metro is there in india let me tell you delhi ncr kolkata chennai bengaluru jaipur and mumbai these are the only places where we have metro in india six places total metro in india stretch is 340 km and recently there was a 7 km stretch in inaugurated in chennai chennai has a i mean tamil nadu has a government which is ai dmk or any under david munetra kazagam chief minister is ada padipalna swami which state government is uh, declaring saturday as no school bag day you uh, children will not carry school bags on saturdays to ease their pressure it is the decision of the uttar pradesh government who has been appointed as w by who as its goodwill ambassador for hepatitis in southeast asia this is a good step to appoint mr bachchan as the ambassador for hepatitis hepatitis is a disease which affects liver there is a covering of liver which is called glissens capsule that is also affected itis means inflammation so in fact viral hepatitis kills more than 4 lakh people in asia every year
and uh, WHO headquarters is in Geneva. WHO chief is Margaret Chan, as I already told you. Margaret Chan. State Bank of India has announced that now if you withdraw from your wallet, you have to pay a certain fee. How much fee you have to pay? You have to pay 25 rupees. And do you know what is the name of the mobile wallet of State Bank of India? It is called SBI Buddy. By the way, State Bank of India has another app which is called SBI Everywhere. WHO recently declared outbreak of Ebola virus in which country? Which country now has outbreak of Ebola virus? Ebola virus has now spread to Democratic Republic of Congo. Capital of Congo is Kinshasa. Kinshasa. P.R. Ramasubramanyam Raj, he passed away recently. He was the chairman of which group? He was the chairman of Ramco group. Which Indian cricketer has recently been named the honorary life member of the Marylebone Cricket Club in Australia? Marylebone Cricket Club in Australia, uh, VVS Lakshman got the membership and he has become only the fifth player to get the membership. Who are the four cricketers before him? Saurav Ganguly, Sachin Tandulkar, Rahul Dravid and Zahir Khan. National Highway Authority of India. National Highway Authority of India recently raised how much amount? by selling the rupee denominated masala bond see masala bond are the rupee denominated bond for overseas investor they are now listed on the stock uh, london stock exchange and nhai builds roads in india but the roads on the borders are, and uh, on our international borders and uh, mountains are built by bro which is the border road organization and the headquarter of nhai and bro both is in new delhi total money which they have raised is 3000 crore rupees and our union minister for uh, roadways is um, nitin gadkari NASA has discovered some signs of water that water it might be a possibility that water is present on this distant planet this planet is called HAT B P626 B and this planet is almost the same size as which planet this planet is of the size of Neptune please note Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun we have eight planets previously we had nine planets but Pluto is no more considered a planet and this particular planet which we are talking about is 437 light years from earth where was the 28th meeting of the Northern Zonal Council, which was chaired by Home Minister Rajanath Singh? So we have uh, five zonal council, which were established under the State Reorganization Act of 1956. It was held in the capital of Punjab and Haryana, Chandigarh. Health Minister J.P. Nadda recently launched PCV vaccine in three states. It is a vaccine for which disease? And which are these three states where this vaccine was launched? These three states are Himachal. In Himachal, it was launched in Mandi. Then we have six districts in Uttar Pradesh and in Bihar, 17 district. And PCV is a vaccine for pneumonia. What is the name of this vaccine? It is called pneumococcal conjugate vaccine. Pneumococcal, which is the name of the uh, virus, uh, of the pneumococcal bacteria actually. Cocci bacteria and bacilli bacteria. Cocci bacteria are round and bacilli bacteria are rod shape. Keep that in mind. So PCV vaccine is for pneumonia. It is called pneumococcal conjugate vaccine. Which microfinance company has got the permission from Reserve Bank of India? Governor is Urjit Patel. So Reserve Bank of India has given a permission that this microfinance company can now open a small finance bank. The name of this company is Disha Microfinance. And please note that the name of their uh, name of their bank will be FinCare Small Finance Bank. FinCare. Which state recently signed a deal with HCL Technology? The chairman of HCL Technology is Mr. Shiv Nadar. So HCL has its uh, office, its headquarters in Noida. So together they are setting 500 crore rupees IT research facility. And this will be set up in the Krishna district. So now this question is easy. It is the Andhra Pradesh government which has signed a MOU with HCL technology. Mauna Koivisto passed away recently. He was the former president of which country? He was the former president of Finland. Finland capital is Helsinki. Which state was ranked number one? by the think tank public affairs center in its 2017 public affair index in governance which rated 18 states so this is what you call governance this state is number one in india in governance it is kerala which has a pinaray vision government cpi uh, m communist party of india leftist is uh, marxist government pinaray vision is the chief minister and governor is justice p satashivam p satashivam is the governor of kerala which IIT has partnered with British Geological Survey to undertake the first major 3D subsurface urban study of Varanasi? Which IIT is this? This IIT is IIT Khadakpur. And IIT Khadakpur has done this three-dimensional geological modeling of Varanasi. Varanasi is the Lok Sabha constituency of Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi. First ever Videsh Sampark program to basically reach out to our NRIs and people who are abroad, uh, reach out to Indian diaspora, was organized by the Ministry of External Affairs under the patronage of uh, Shrimati. Sushma Savraj, who is our external affairs minister, it was recently held where? 
it was recently ha held in hyderabad in telangana reserve bank of india recently initiated what is called prompt corrective action on which bank for its high bad loans and negative return on assets this bank is the second worst bank after idbi idbi was the first bank which has a non performing assets of more than 15% and this was the first bank against which prompt corrective action was taken by rbi but which became the second bank so the second bank is the uco bank and uco bank headquarter is in kolkata kolkata also has headquarter of bandhan bank microfinance bandhan bank which of the following uh, smart village uh, award which of the following got the smart village award by itpo indian trade promotion organization it is the govardhan eco village govardhan eco village thane in maharashtra and uh, this uh, village has been made smart village by iskon international center for krishna consciousness archaeologists have recently unearthed 17 mummies see mummies are our old remnants old ancient people when they used to die they used to cover them with a lot of salts and i mean chemicals so that the bodies can be preserved those are called mummies they were found at one egyptian city capital of egypt is zero but these 17 mummies were found at the city of minya what was the theme of international mother's day which was celebrated on the second sunday of may every year so please note second sunday of may this time it was 14th of may so Second Sunday of May is International Mother's Day to basically acknowledge the um, effort of our mothers in bringing us up. And this time the theme was Every Mother Knows. Every Mother Knows. Our central government is going to dispatch how much amount on a soon to be launched project to provide road connectivity to 44 Naxal affected district. 44 leftist insurgency affected district. Uh, they will be... Uh, you know roads will be built under the Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana with a allocation of 11,000 crore rupees 11,000 and these districts are in Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Jharkhand, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Telangana, Maharashtra basically all the states which are Naxal affected Railways will install CCTV cameras uh, at a cost of 500 crore rupees under the Nirbhaya fund how many CCTV cameras uh, will be installed at how many stations they will be installed so I will tell you the answer to both nine 19,000 CCTV camera, CCTV full form is closed circuit TV camera, closed circuit television uh, and how many stations? So 980 stations, 980. As per FICCI, Federation of India Chambers of Com uh, Commerce and Industry, FICCI, by the way, FICCI president is Pankaj Patel, don't forget that. So as per FICCI, India's economy will grow by how much in the current fiscal? Current fiscal means what? 2017-18, financially 2018. According to FICCI, we will grow by a healthy 7.4%. Laka Sherpa, she broke her own record of scaling Mount Everest for the most number of times by a female. How many times has she submitted the peak? See, Mount Everest, it is not easy to climb. A lot of people die during the ascent of Mount Everest. Mount Everest height is 8,848 meter. And it is in Nepal and it is called Sagar Mutt in Nepal. So this particular female, Laka Sherpa, she climbs Mount Everest uh, so frequently that she has done it eight times. That's right, eight times. Uh, she broke her own record. And let me tell you about a, a very extraordinary Indian. Her name is Anshu. Full name is Anshu Jam Sen Pa. She is from Arunachal Pradesh. She has scaled Mount Everest four times, which is most by an Indian female. And most by any person in the world is Laka Sherpa, eight times. Uh, there is another extraordinary Indian, Arunima Sinha. She has been to Mount Everest two times on one leg, by the way. She, her one leg had to be cut, amputated because she was thrown off by some rogue elements, thief who were trying to steal her purse. She was a national level volleyball player, but she did not give up and she scaled Mount Everest two times. Not only Mount Everest, she has now scaled every peak possible. Kilimanjaro, Akan Kagua, you know, all the peaks. Which Indian company is going to sponsor New Zealand cricket team in the Champions Trophy, which will be held in England and Wales? It is Amul. Amul uh, and Dr. Kurian's efforts, he is called the father of white revolution in India. His effort was Amul. So Amul will sponsor New Zealand cricket team. New Zealand is also called Black Caps. They are also called Kiwis. Capital is Wellington. Capital of New Zealand is Wellington and Prime Minister of New Zealand is Mr. Bill English. India's Indra, a centennial tribute because Indira Gandhi's birthday was recently 100 years completed. So this is a book launched by former Prime Minister uh, on the life of former Prime Minister. This book has been edited by whom? And uh, this book was uh, inaugurated or I mean presented by Pranam Mukherjee also because Pranam Mukherjee has also contributed one chapter in this book. In fact, Pranam Mukherjee recently said that 
Indira Gandhi is the most acceptable PM in the history of India. So this book has been edited by Mr. Anand Sharma. Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi recently launched a conservation mission to protect which river? This is the Narmada River which takes its origin from Amarkantak in Madhya Pradesh. It also forms Dhuadhar waterfall in Jabalpur. Then it goes to Maharashtra, Hoshangabad, Devas in uh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra. Then it goes to Gujarat in Bharuch and it falls in the Arabian Sea. So therefore it is a west flowing river. Central Institute of Plastics, Engineering and Technology, CIPET, it has announced to set up two of its centers where these two uh, centers will be one in Panipat and another in Karnal. See, Karnal is a very important uh, uh, district in Haryana. It is the town of Kalpana Chawla, the great astronaut, NASA astronaut Kalpana Chawla. And Karnal uh, also has Central Dairy Research Institute, very frequent question in exam. So it is in Haryana. One will be in Panipat where three battles of Panipat took place. Do you remember Panipat? And one is Karnal. ISRO, that is Indian Space Research Organization, it has joined hands with which space agency to inspect the excavation being carried out at an archaeological site in Fatihabad district of Haryana? This is very, very important question, especially if you have history optional in UPSC. This village is called village Kunal. And Harappan civilization, some remnants have been discovered which are 6,000 years old. Indus Valley civilization, if you remember. So ISRO and NASA have come together for the same. Which nation has joined India's Ujala program? India's Ujala, very, very cost-effective program. Ujala, where the bulbs are being replaced by the LED bulbs. It is, it is called affordable LEDs for all. In short, Ujala by Ministry of Power. This program will be um, adopted by United Kingdom. Prime Minister is Theresa May. Which Indian Institute of Management has launched live? It is a business incubator and entrepreneurship development center. This has been done by IIM Cozy Code. IIM Cozy Code. Cozy Code is in Kerala. Who has been appointed as Fran France's Prime Minister by the newly elected President Emmanuel Macron from the party En Marche? So this Prime Minister is not from the party En Marche. President is from En Marche. Prime Minister is from a party called Less Republicans Party. And his name is Edouard Philippe. What is the name of the satellite that has been recently launched by SpaceX? By the way, SpaceX is the company of Elon Musk, the great Elon Musk. And he is the CEO of SpaceX. It is giving very tough competition to Israel and NASA right now because it has renewable fuel technology. And this is the first launch for the London-based mobile broadband company. By the way, let me tell you something else, which is that there is a very popular rocket of SpaceX, which is called Falcon 9. So in the exam, they will ask Falcon 9 is rocket of which company? The answer is SpaceX. In fact, there is a rocket of China also, which is called Long March. Keep that also in mind. So what is the name of the satellite that ISRO has launched? It is called Ima Inmarsat 5F4. Our central cabinet recently approved setting up of an Indian Agriculture Research Institute, IARI, where this institute will be set up uh, with 100% investment from the central government in Assam. Assam, Sarbanand Sonobal is the chief minister from BJP and governor is Banwari Lal Purohit. Our central government recently approved signing up of a faculty exchange agreement with the National Defence College of which country? National Defence College, by the way, in India is in New Delhi and we will have faculty exchange agreement with National Defence College of Bangladesh. Prime Minister is Sheikh Hasina, capital is Dhaka, country, uh, currency is Taka. Aquatic Rainbow Technology Park EITP will be set up. It is India's first ornamental fish park. Do you know which state of India exports maximum ornamental fish? It is West Bengal. And second after West Bengal, uh, in terms of uh, ornamental fishes is this state. So now can you guess the answer? Chennai. Tamil Nadu is the second exporter of the ornamental fishes. First time which bank has used blockchain technology to complete the LC transaction which is called letter of credit transaction. In fact let me tell you the time that will be saved. Earlier 20 to 30 days used to uh, take place for LC transaction. Now it will be just few hours. So which bank is this? This bank is the Kotak Mahindra Bank headquartered at Mumbai and managing director is of course Uday Kotak. Now, Doordarshan channel 24-7 uh, was recently launched where? By our Information Broadcasting Minister Venkaiya Naidu, who is also our Urban Development Minister. So it was launched in Jharkhand. Jharkhand, Raghubar Das is the uh, Chief Minister. He is also the first non-tribal Chief Minister from Jharkhand and capital is Ranchi. Which World Heritage Site has been declared as the most polluted site in the world? Heritage means our past legacy. And there are 35 World Heritage Sites in India. In world, there are thousands, of course. So this particular site is the Henderson Island in UK. It is the most polluted site in the world. And these heritage sites are declared by World Heritage Center, which is by UNESCO and headquartered at Paris. ICC 
has increased the prize money of the champions trophy see last year it was 4 million or last time whenever champions trophy took place it was 4 million now it is what so they have increased it by a good 500 thousand dollars it is now 4.5 million now i included this question not to tell you this but to tell you some things about icc so icc president is zahir abbas from pakistan zahir abbas was also called the donald bradman of asia he was a that great a uh, uh, batsman cricketer and uh, icc uh, president is zahir abbas icc chairman is Shashank Manohar from India. Shashank Manohar is the chairman and headquarter of ICC is in Dubai. Which railway station has been uh, adjudged as the cleanest railway station in India? Cleanest railway station in India among the busiest stations category. Very, very busy but very, very clean. So which, this, which, which railway station is this? It is the Vishakhapatnam. By the way, which is the dirtiest railway station in India? It is Darbhanga in Bihar. Darbhanga railway station in Bihar is the dirtiest railway station in India. What is the name of the program which is going to be launched for the development of biopharma? The name of this program is Innovation, uh, Innovate in India. It's just like Make in India, Innovate in India. And our health minister is JP Nadda and minister for science and technology is Dr. Harshwardhan. Please also note that this program will be uh, innovated by or implemented by BIRAC, which is a PSU under the Department of Biotechnology. And for implementing this program, we have to spend 1500 crore rupees and 50% fund will be provided by the World Bank. Bharti Sanchar Nigam Limited, BSNL has signed a MOU with which company recently? So BSNL has signed a MOU with all the three. Mobiquick also, Facebook also and Disney India also. Facebook, we have signed for Express Wi-Fi. Mobiquick together, BSNL is building its own mobile wallet app. Who has been assigned additional role of Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change? Because our Minister of Environment has passed away, Anil Dave has passed away and additional charge has been given to our Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Harshwardhan. World Meteorological Organization has officially launched which program? It is the year of polar prediction. Year of polar prediction means that there will be a two-year effort to close gaps in the polar forecasting capacity. And headquarter of World Meteorological Organization is in Geneva in Switzerland. Reema Lagu, she passed away. Great actor who used to play the, uh, you know, the Indian mother in uh, various uh, movies. She was also a great Marathi actor. So the answer is actress. World AIDS Vaccine Day is observed every year on May the 18th. AIDS, what is AIDS? Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome in which there is a deficiency of the helper T cells because... HIV positive person is there and the disease gets worse and worse and finally immunity goes to zero almost and that is called AIDS. So AIDS is the last stage when the patient is about to die, he is moribund. And this speech, World AIDS Vaccine Day, we, why we celebrate on May 18? Because a very good speech was given by the ex-US President Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton's wife is Hillary Clinton. Hillary, Hillary Clinton was beaten black and blue by Donald Trump in the recently concluded, not recently but in uh, uh, the last year's concluded American elections. So Bill Clinton is, was from Democratic Party. Where will the 2017 Arctic Energy Summit which will be held in September? So it will be held in Finland. The capital is Helsinki. And where was 2017 G20 Labor and Employment Ministers meeting recently took place? Who is our Labor and Employment Minister? Bandaru Dattatreya. Okay. And this meeting recently took place in Germany. Cap the capital of Germany is Berlin and Germany's Chancellor is Angela Merkel. First time which state's police has formed uh, formally introduced the course in emotional intelligence for its personnel for police station pol for police inspectors and police personnel the police people emotional intelligence course has been launched by which state police this has been done by the government of Maharashtra which is a coalition government Shiv Sena and BJP Devendra Fadnavis is the CM and C. Vidya Sagar Rao is the governor what is the name of the coal secretary of India who has been convicted by the court in the coal scam famous coal scam under the UPA government coal secretary was Mr. H.C. Gupta Union Heavy Industries and Public Enterprise Minister Anant Gite recently inaugurated the Trust Track Facility for Automotive Firms in which place? And this facility is developed by the Global Automotive Research Center which is called GARC in Chennai. Who won the All India Open Rapid FIDE Rating Chess Tournament? All India Open Rapid FIDE Tournament Chess Tournament was won by R.R. Lakshman. Now there is a annual joint humanitarian Assistance and Disaster Relief HADR exercise which is called Karawali Karunya. It was conducted by Indian Navy's Western Naval Command at which naval station? This naval station is Karwar. Karwar in Karnataka. By the way, who is the Chief of Navy? It is Sunil Lamba. And this particular exercise was conducted uh, by Vice Admiral Girish Luthra. Which country's cabinet recently approved a bill allowing the emperor to abdicate the throne to the crown prince? This is a very, very important question. Let me tell you why. See, in Japan, you have a king 
when the king dies the prince becomes the king this is what happens but while the time the king is alive he cannot transfer the throne or abdicate the throne so that the prince can take over but now according to this bill it has been approved and the emperor of japan right now is king akihito and the prince is naruhito so akihito he is alive but still naruhito has been made the king and uh, japan's uh, uh, prime minister is shinjo abe which union minister recently launched citizen charter 2017 and electronic court management system both of these were launched by our union minister for labor and employment bandaru datatreya our indian meteorological department has recently issued orange alert what is orange alert that it is a warning for severe heat wave for which state in fact there was a video which was going viral in, Odi in odisha which is that one uh, person tried to uh, bake uh, you know eggs uh, and uh, he did not need uh, external source of heat he did it in the open sun so odisha is reeling under severe heat waves which country's supreme court upheld a ruling that the country's sikh community cannot carry religious knives religious knives are carried by the sikhs it is called kirpan and now italian sikhs cannot hold kirpan our central government recently enhance the subsidy to set up community radio stations for the existing 50% to how much see if you want to set up a radio station you will get a 50% subsidy earlier but now you will get a healthy 75% subsidy and if you are launching a community radio station in any northeastern state like arunachal or you know like tripura and all these so you will get 90% subsidy in northeast who has been appointed as the new commissioner of chennai police it is mr ak vishwanathan which country has blocked access to russian social media networks this decision has been taken by the ukraine government capital of ukraine is kiev and the currency of ukraine is harvinia this is very important russian president is vladimir putin currency is ruble capital is moscow delhi's first fully air conditioned bus stand is at lajpat nagar it has been installed by which company it is like a csr activity corporate social responsibility activity of a company called daikin can you tell me which companies uh, which country's company is daikin write down in comments this is your sixth question for you today Paytm recently raised how much money from SoftBank. SoftBank is a Japanese telecom company in its biggest ever fundraising, which was uh, by a single investor. They have raised a whopping 1.4 billion dollars. Naso filter. It is the cheapest respiratory filter. Is where it has been developed by which IIT in India? It has been developed by IIT Delhi, and this naso filter will co cost only 10 rupees, and it can work for eight hours straight. who has topped the third annual list of america's richest self made women released by forbes so a person can be rich in two ways one given the money by the forefathers or parents and like that and second self made so self made women america's richest now is marine marian lich which state has launched the scheme she pad for school female students to ensure menstrual hygiene and basically free sanitary napkins will be provided and cost will be 30 crore rupees for this project it is done by the kerala government what percent of banking outlets need to be opened by a bank at a minimum minimum how much percentage banking outlet have to be opened in unbanked rural areas as per the new guidelines by the reserve bank of india it is 25% and it has to be done by all the banks except regional rural banks which of the following has been awarded indira gandhi prize for peace 2014 this prize was uh, received by the chairman as kiran kumar of isro so isro was awarded the prize and this award was handed over by basically a jury was there to select and uh, jury was headed by our vice president hamid ansari the first natural human antibodies that can neutralize and protect animals from ebola virus has been discovered this finding was published in which journal this journal is called cell please note that this particular first natural human antibodies they were this research was done by the scientists from albert einstein college of medicine which is in new york america India recently imposed anti-dumping duty on how many steel products for 5 years this is to protect our domestic steel manufacturers anti-dumping duty was put on 47 steel products and Birendra Singh is the steel minister what are the names of the two new members that have recently been appointed to central board of uh, excise and customs this is for indirect taxes cbec and for direct taxes we have cbdt so cbec uh, they are ask what they are asking is uh, how many or what is the name of two people who have been uh, recruited for uh, appointed to cbc their names are rk mahajan and mahinder singh so the answer is 2 and 3 please also not one thing who is the chairman of cbc no it is not sushil chandar sushil chandar is cbdt chairman but uh, for cbc the chairman is vanaja sarna these are two of the most important questions a 214 may 2017 was observed by united nations as what 
it was the world road safety week global road safety week and our uh, our minister for roads is nitin gadkari how many medals india won at the asian wrestling championship india won total of 10 medals one gold five silver and four bronze but we always remember the name of the gold medalist and in fact this gold medalist he was congratulated by prime minister narendra modi on twitter his name is mr bajrang punia bajrang punia won the gold medal in the 65 kg freestyle so total india won 10 medals which formula 1 racer won the spanish grand prix he drives the car mercedes he is lewis hamilton from britain which of the following person won his first professional title in the sys squash open this was won by squash player ramit tandon please note in exam one more squash player is asked joshna chinappa she is female she is india's greatest uh, squash player another squash player from india is deepika pallikal remember her name also which of the following are the two indian conservationists who recently won the prestigious witley award see witley award are not any just any award they are called uh, they are called the oscar green oscar actually green oscar and these awards were won by purnima barman and sanjay gubbi sanjay gubbi is from karnataka purnima barman is from assam on which day is the world fair trade day observed which day of may it is the always the second saturday of may how many new judges to court in the delhi high court recently delhi high court acting chief justice is geeta mittal geeta mittal please also note one judge who was in news leela seth leela seth is mother of vikram seth vikram seth uh, who had written a book called a suitable boy please please note i am not talking about the book unsuitable boy which is on the life of karan johar okay i am talking about the book a suitable boy which is about how marriages take place in india arranged marriages and all it is a very very thick book don't even attempt to read it it is by vikram seth and vikram seth mother leela seth she was the first woman uh, chief justice of india leela seth expired recently that is why she was in news anyways coming back to the question delhi high court right now the chief justice is geeta mittal and total uh, 38 judges are there in the delhi high court and four recently took oath out of 38 10 are female which automobile company is going to stop selling cars in indian market by the end of 2017 this decision has been taken by general motor which is headquartered at michigan in united states of america but they have a technological center which is in bengaluru that will continue to remain operational so these were the best multiple choice questions i provided tremendous information this time questions were supreme in quality and let me tell you from this from this video you will get at least 10 questions in sbi po mains at least 10 and in bank of baroda mains exam you will get at least 20 questions and in all the coming exam at least 10 questions so do this nicely and all the best